Hey guys, it's Lexi. I am sharing my melting basket for the month of February. Super excited about this theme. I think it's gonna be really cool. So I was kind of thinking a while back about different themes for February and I have done usually just like a very classic Valentine's Day theme or something kind of along the lines of like love and Valentine's Day. And then I was kind of thinking, okay, what can I do that's like slightly different um, that also still kind of has like love vibes behind it for the month um, to keep it kind of like on trend. Uh, so I was thinking I have, when I was looking through my wax, I have a ton of things that kind of remind me of fairy tales um, and fairy tales to me are like very romantic or can be. Um, so it can be a little scary. Um, but I was also thinking about like how cute it would be to do something of like fairy tales by the fireplace where all of the wax that I pull is something that can kind of like invoke the idea of like being near a fireplace, like in a cabin in the middle of the woods, it's snowing outside because February in New York still we're having a ton of snow. It's snowing outside, it's getting dark out, there's a roaring fireplace, you're with your family, you're with the people you love, it's February, it's the month of love, and you're telling everybody like story, like fairy tale stories. Um, and I was like, that could be really cool. So I looked through at all my wax, I was like, I definitely have something uh, here that I could make a melting basket out of, so I'm just gonna go for it. So this month's theme is February Fairy Tales by the Fireplace. So. Um, I feel like most of these are kind of self-explanatory. I do have one super random thing. Um, towards the end of this month, or right, I don't know, it's Tuesday, right? Fat Tuesday, um, is the New Orleans like Mardi Gras day. So I do have one Mardi Gras scent here. This is New Orleans beignets, which is deep fried pastry dough with a pillowy center and a generous dusting of powdered sugar. Um, this is from Dessa's Homespun scent. So I did want to mention that I have that as well. but. All of the rest of these are very much like cabin, snow, um, it's cold outside, fairy tales, maybe some witches and spooky stuff a little bit, um, just because not all fairy tales are super happy all the time. <laughs> um, but for the most part, it's all happy. But I'm just gonna jump into it. I think this is gonna be a really fun one and I'm super, super excited about this month um, because there's a lot of scents here that I've been wanting to melt that I just love. So let's jump in here with the super little random thing. This is Cozy Cabin Escape from Yankee Candle. I have another cozy scent, and this is in Cozy Vibes from Southbound Candle Co. It's vanilla sugar, vanilla orchid, cedar wood, smooth musk, leather, sandalwood, and rich amber. This is a souffle I'm very excited to melt. We've got two little samples here in fairy sheets. So fairy tales, fairy sheets, and this is from Hayden Row Candle Co. And then I have Fireside Latte, and this is from the Bathing Garden, so Fireside. We've got this really cute um, little shape here from the Bathing Garden also. And this scent is Plum Snow. So it wasn't as much of the scent as it is like the visual of this wax. I mean, all of the Bathing Garden stuff is pretty visually beautiful, but if you can see that, it really looks like, almost like, um like a castle type photo or image on the wax and printed in there. We've got Cabin Fever from Empire Alchemy and this one is Toasted Pine Cones, Frankincense and Marshmallow Fireside. This is a souffle from Salt Mountain Melt. This is in, I forgot how to pronounce this, Huggy, Huggy, something like that. Um, that's wrong, I'm sure. It is Cashmere Cedar, Sugar Cookie and Marshmallow Fireside. So this one had the Marshmallow Fireside in there. We've also got Salt Mountain Melts' Peachy Keen, and this one is Peach Ring Lemonade, and I thought that this one would be kinda nice for just like Valentine's Day in general. Um, this one is The Lodge, so it's Palo Santo Milk and Cookies. This is another um, custom scent that I did with Britta's Creepy Treasures um, like about a year ago now, and this is in Spark It Up, which is Patchouli Crackling Birch by the Fire, by the campfire and marshmallow bomb. So I thought that this one would kind of fit like that fireside type theme. We've got a zape heart shape or two heart shapes here in Aurora. 
And this is Green Meadows, Bergamot, Spring Blossoms, and Sweet Candy Lollipops. And of course, Aurora is Sleeping Beauty, which is a fairy tale. We've got Cabin in the Woods from Zape, and this is Crisp Apple, Warm Cider, Creamy Vanilla, and Caramel Drizzle. Another one from Zape is Blankets by the Fire, and this is Chunky Wool Blankets, Charred Pine, and Balsam. And then this one here is from The Bathing Garden in the scent Dragon Glare, and this is kind of a little smudge, but it's like, um, kind of like a little dragon's eyeball shape there. I pulled a ton of teddy bees, so, this one here is Sweetheart Cookies. This is another one that's just kind of more geared towards like Valentine's Day in general. It's Pink Sugar Frosted Sugar Cookie Shortbread Birthday Cake and Sweet Milk. We've also got another one kind of geared towards the month of love. It is Love Birds, which is sugary lemon, citrus fruits, green floral notes, amber woods, and a hint of vanilla. I pulled the north um, because where I live, when you go north, you go into mountains. So this one kind of would invoke being in a cabin type vibe. Um, it is vanilla balsam type, Palo Santo, marshmallow fireside, and a hint of smoldering firewood. And also we have Snow Queen, which is marshmallow fireside, warm vanilla sugar, and sugared spruce. Also from Teddy Bee's Anthony's Cabin, and this one is birch leaves, citrus peel, pine cones, white florals, vetiver, sandalwood, and woods. And we also have Warm and Cozy, which is Tonka Bean, Jasmine, Patchouli, Vanilla, blended with Comfort Bath and Body Works type. Cabin in the Woods from Teddy Bees, which is Fur Needles, Smoked Woods, Marshmallow Fireside, Cedarwood, Sandalwood, and Minty Snow. And Winterfell and Vanilla Balsam and Magic in the Air. And this one is a triple layered blend of Winterfell, which is Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, White Birch, Icy Snow and Vanilla, and then layered with Vanilla balsa, Balsam type from Bath & Body Works and Magic in the Air type from Bath & Body Works as well. We have Egyptian Dragon. This is an exotic blend of Dragon's Blood and Jasmine from Destination Wax. And this one is kind of reminding me of like Aladdin maybe, or um, just like dragons and like medieval fairy tale type stuff. Um, and this one is Love Spell, Love Spell, Strawberry, and Vanilla Bee Noel from L3 Waxy Wonder. So a love spell definitely is like Sleeping Beauty, right? Or uh, Snow White, right? Whatever one she gets the spell put on her. Um, this one is Falling For You from Empire Alchemy, which is fresh apple strudel, gooey marshmallow, caramel custard, and crunchy pistachio. This one I was thinking, you fall for someone, you're in love, right? A lot of these are self-explanatory. Uh, um, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> so we have Sword of Destiny from That Smell Good Shop. This is Smoky Vanilla and Palo Santo. We have Fireside Chats. This is from Scentsy. This one here is Through the Woods, and this is Fraser Fur Sugar Cookie Peppermint Stick from Kay's. And from Sensationals, we have Cuddle Up, which is Tonka and Oud. From Destination Wax, we have My Love from Another Star. And this is Strawberry, Cotton Candy, and Magic Spell, which is like Love Spell. Then we have Teddy Bees Over the Hill and Through the Woods. And this is Christmas Trees and Cream with Warm Apple Cider. And then this is from um, Rose Girls. And this is in Snow Fairy, which is a lush type. Kind of reminds me of like a bubblegum type scent. Getting a little bit witchy here with the fairy tales. I did pull a loaf, uh, hoping to finish this one up. This is Season of the Witch and Cranberry Sweater Weather, um, which Season of the Witch is apple and leaves together. Um, really like the scent, but I'd like to use it up before fall of next year. Then we have By the Campfire from Rose Girls. I love the scent and I'm really excited to melt some more of this. Some more Rose Girls, because you guys know I'm obsessed. I have Out of the Woods from Rose Girls, which is um, Palo Santo and Balsam type, or Balsam type, Balsam in Palo Santo. Uh, we have a Sweet Princess Party. This is a Mario Melter. It's Strawberry Pound Cake, Cookie Land, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, and Vanilla Ice Cream. We have Shadow Queen, another Mario Melter. This is Lord of Misrule, Marshmallow Fireside, Tobacco, and Vanilla Bourbon. This is Snow Kingdom, which is Candy Cane, Cool Peppermint, Vanilla Bee Noel, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Musk. The s'more the better because I was thinking you make s'mores around campfires and like fireplaces, right? So s'mores latte, cookie land, vanilla noel, and whipped cream. We've got fire Mario because fire. 
And this is Marshmallow Fireside Donut Hole and Espresso Beans. As Long As You Love Me is very romantic, right? This is Strawberry Pound Cake, Moo Moo Track, Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs, and Cookie Land. Love Moo Moo Track, so cannot wait to melt that. And then this one is Princess, it's cold outside, which kind of can have multiple things like cold outside if you're in a cabin, it's snowing out, and then also Princess Fairy Tales. So this is Blueberry Pumpkin Pancakes and Brown Sugar. This um, I didn't finish from last melting basket, so I moved it over. And then four from Empire Alchemy, we have Magic Carpet Rides, which is um, such a good scent. This one is Night Blooming Jasmine, Satiny Carpet and Warm Breezes Over Sand. We've got Broomsticks, um, because some evil witches might ride broomsticks. And this one is White Birch, Maple Leaves and White Winter Linens. We have Red Hood, which is like Red Riding Hood, right? Which I don't know if that's technically like a fairy tale. Is Red Riding Hood a fairy tale? I don't know. I thought it fit. Um, this is from Empire Alchemy as well. It is fresh strawberry fig jam, crack, uh, cornbread, and campfire marshmallows. And then we have Lost in the Woods. And this one is candied cinnamon, pecan, pine needle, vanilla ice cream, apple peel, and chopped wood. Four more that I'm going to roll over from my last month's melting basket that I didn't finish, but I would really like to use. I have K Sedton Melts, apple wood, and fir needle, which is a good like outdoor tree scent. I have Smoky Mountain Air from Better Homes and Gardens. I'm like sad to use this one up, but it's getting quite old. I have Winter's Coming from that Smell Good Shop, and this one is Evergreen Citrus, Winter Citrus and Moss. And I have a big old tub here of Winterfell, which I'd like to use a little bit of this during like the cold winter months here before it becomes spring. Um, and we all know that time flies, so I'd like to use a little bit sooner rather than later. But that is it. That is my entire melting basket, my February fairy tales by the fireplace. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I cannot wait to melt some of these. I hope I can make as good of progress with my um, stash as I did last month. Um, I can thoroughly say that I have just been just enjoying my wax like on a whole other level lately. Like I feel like I've been I've been going through it like a ton, but I've been like really, really enjoying it. Um, and I'm not sure if that's just because I'm like home more, I'm inside more during the winter months, um, but it's just been wonderful. So I hope you're all having a good time melting your wax as well. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye guys.